Well, everybody, welcome back to episode 57 of the Light Warriors Unleashed podcast. This is the last episode in season one. So as you'll hear in the podcast, I tell you, we're going on a little bit of a hiatus for about a month, regroup, get all the guests in alignment for season two. So it comes out potently, but I leave you with a question today. What is your truth? And I hammer it in. And some of you are going to feel like I fucking slapped you across the face because it's needed some of us are wavering in our commitment to ourselves, are wavering in this energy field right now. We are questioning the fuck out of things that we already have answers to because we're scared. And it's time to remove the fear. It's time to remove the veil. It's time to fucking step in. And with no further ado, probably the shortest fucking most potent podcast I could give you in your field. Episode 57, Light Warriors Unleashed Podcast. Well, everybody, I am so excited to be back here in connection with this episode today. And I'm going to warn you, it's going to be short and sweet and right to the point. And maybe some of you won't think it's going to be sweet because I'm going to nail out a certain energetics today in a potency to leave you with. This is the end of season one. So season one is completing at episode 57, the most randomest number ever, which I love and appreciate this number, but it just felt called to close off season one this way. So we're going to be on hiatus just for a little while while I gather some new guests, get the new branding in play. Everything's going to drop in season two is exactly the same energy and more potently aligned. Um, I already have some people lined up that are going to come onto the podcast to serve you guys in beautiful expanded energy. And I am just so grateful for that. So how I desire to leave off season one is for you to really feel into this. What is your truth? You've heard over all these episodes, over all of this time that we spent together since February of this year, this conversation that I've been having with you, this imprint that I've been making in your field, this dynamic duality we've been playing within. And the conversation is, what is your truth? What does it mean for you? Why are you hiding from it? What is needed for you to expand into this? Guys, we are, are meant to live the life we desire on earth. We are not meant to literally sacrifice ourselves in lives, to have okay lives, to you know be in relationships that no longer serve our soul. Yeah, it's gonna take fucking courage for us to step into this dynamic life that we are meant to live. It's gonna take us you know, it's time to root in. It's going to take, you know, this dynamic shift. It's going to take for you to have fucking real talk and take responsibility for your life. It's going to take that. It will. And sometimes it's going to be hard. And some days you're going to fucking ball your face off. And some days you're going to be on your knees surrendering and not knowing how you can do this. But I want to say to you today, so you hear and feel this, it is worth it. Every step we take towards the direction of this embodiment, this enlightenment, this movement in our field is worth it. Every time we have to grit in and take action or have bold conversations or pick up the phone and make the call or take ownership of the shitstorm we created ourselves, it's worth it. Every single time we step into this space and we move an energy through and we embody this energy and we literally collapse time around this space, it's worth it. And apparently my alarm wants to remind me of my call I'm having in a few minutes. So that's why we're doing a short and sweet fucking episode today too in potency. But I want to leave you with this energy. You matter. You in the purity of your light, in the vibration of your soul, in the mission of your life, you matter. You're not meant to conform. You're not meant to play small. You're not meant to stay like literally in these fucking environments in your life that are keeping you from owning your truth and staying small. You are meant to expand, to explore, and to be. And those people that are meant to be in our world right now that are all all in for that will follow us, will come with us, will expand with us, will be led by us, will be in union with us. They just will show up. And a lot of you guys are fucking scared to own it. You're scared to have the conversations. You're scared to step into the space. You're scared for all these fucking reasons that you've made up in your mind when if you just go back into your truth, what is your truth? The key is right there. It's right there in this energy. And it's right in the space of time for you to move through. And it's right there in this pivotal moment of choice. What is your truth? What is your truth? Bring it all the way back in. Drop back into your heart and start to breathe and ask yourself the question, what is my truth? 
I'm not living the life I desire. I'm not with a partner that I desire to be. I'm not in the country doing the things I desire to do. My job fucking sucks ass. You know, I'm serving my clients in an old paradigm of business that I no longer want to serve them in. I am clouding my energy because of the fact that I don't want to step into spirituality because I'm scared as fuck to own the fact that I have these gifts. I don't believe in myself because of the fact that X, Y, and Z happened. Where in your life are you not owning your truth? And where in your life that you know right now in your heart that you've got to step into this because you're never going to know if that life that you desire is actually available for you, that that partner that you desire to be in connection with will actually step up to meet you. Or if this dynamic of your world right now will shift and change because that's not the partner any longer, whether it's 10 years, 20 years of marriages, sometimes people grow apart. And yeah, you make a commitment in marriage to stay together, but that is an old school paradigm. If both people are not doing the work and not stepping into the space, do you think you have to fucking sacrifice your whole entire goddamn life in order for that person to just keep being in its own, their own fucking hole and digging themselves in deeper and you got to stick around because you committed in an old school infrastructure to say I do in this space of? And yeah, some of you are going to fucking battle me with this. Like I committed, I made the commitment and this is a thing. And I am from the Catholic church and I believe in this thing and I get you. And if that's your truth, then stay there. But you are destined to live a life of mediocrity because if you are conforming in any fucking way, shape or form in your life right now, you are not doing anybody a disservice. Your kids, your people, everybody's fucking watching you. And it's like, it's okay that... We can live in mediocrity. We don't have to be happy at all. We just need to stay the course and be in these loveless relationships and fucking take the abuse and step into the space of, are you fucking kidding me? Your life is meant for bigger things than this. You matter. One choice can change your life. It can call in the partner to actually fucking step up and get some balls and actually become a man or a woman again. Maybe that's what they need is you stepping up to the space, but you are too fucking scared to say it. Or you're too scared to tell your clients that this is an infrastructure that you're leaning into in, in case that they're going to judge you. Or you're too scared to own your sexual edge in the world because of what will people think. Or you've been fucking living in this space of time that you're just grinding it out nine to five fucking every single day, going to your job that's literally sucking your soul. Hello? Hello? Are you fucking hearing me? I'm a little bit potent right now. I got a short time span to create this podcast today and it's coming in hot for a reason. I want to leave you with this energy of what is your truth and what are you going to do about it? We're going to fucking kick off season two in this most potent manner. I guarantee you that's dropping into the field and it's going to come in fucking hot. The amount of expansion I'm going to be doing in this month alone in my own life is going to literally change the game for my whole entire life. I feel it. My friends feel it. They're like, holy shit. I'm like, I know it's coming in fucking hot, but you know what it took? It took some courage. It took for me to have grit. It took for me to believe in myself. It took for me to be able to fucking step in and own my shit and take responsibility for my life. It took like those long ass days, some days to lean in. And those other days where I didn't fucking do long ass days, it takes a decision. And one day I made a choice that says I'm all in. I'm all in and I'm going to have the hard conversations and I'm going to fucking take the truth from other people and I'm going to accept the dynamics of my world I'm not stepping into and I'm going to start to shift and I'm going to start to change and I'm going to get coaches and I'm going to be in programs and I'm going to be in collective masterminds and I'm going to be in memberships and I'm going to fucking put all the money in here. I'm going to invest in myself to make the change. I'm going to step fucking in and I'm going to start to own it. And I'm going to start to move it through and I'm going to start to move that equilibrium forward so that I can fucking get the life I desire. But I made a goddamn choice. And every single day I wake up and I make that choice again. And guys, it's not fucking easy. It's not easy to own your shit. It's not easy to let people go. It's not easy to move to a whole fucking new country because your intuition says to goddamn move. Are you kidding me? It's not easy to be living here in Costa Rica in a completely different space with a whole bunch of different mechanisms. And it's like Pura Vida, baby. It's fucking amazing. The environment's amazing. But I just heard from a girlfriend of mine that, that her business partner just died from an infection. Literally, this happened yesterday. The last week, she got an infection from something and died. 
Hello? We have one fucking life to live. And most of us are sitting in this fucking shit storm, sitting in the fucking shit because we're too scared to make a decision to move forward in life. I need you to hear this from me. If you are right here still listening to this podcast, this was for you. And I know I'm going to get messages going, you were talking to me because it happens every single week. Because you know what I do? I dive in and I go, where am I talking today? What the fuck is happening in the world? What do they need to hear? It goes, boom. Guys, it's not easy to live in a line life. It's not easy to move into your desires because you've got to crack open the infrastructure of being a human. And that fucking part sucks some days. Are you owning your truth? Are you expanding in it? Are you getting juicified in it? Are you moving it through in this beautiful, beautiful energy? And that's what I want you to ponder until this next episode drops. Are you owning your truth? Are you taking action in your truth? Are you fucking moving forward? Even though you don't know what's going to happen. We never will know. Our job is to listen and move forward when the ping hits and to to believe that God has our back, to believe the universe's alignment will take care of us. And I've watched it happen time and time and time again, but we will never know until we take action. That's the deal. And that's all I have to say. So stay tuned and get ready. Season two is coming in hot. I cannot wait to serve you in this energy in the next phase of the evolution of this podcast. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful to you. I'm grateful for your listening. I'm grateful that you share it out. I'm grateful for all of you. But it's time to fucking pick up your big girl panties, pull up your fucking socks and make some moves in your life that are going to impact the desire and your heart center. It's your time now. Let's fucking go.